So how did I ride 4,500 miles along the Route 66 trip through the cold, through the wind, through the rain, unimpeded? Stick around because what I just picked up, put in my hands, is a big reason why. So what I have here is the Memphis Shades Delray Sport Shield. I'm going to talk a little bit about the shield first so you get a sense of what it's like. Then I'm going to go into why I chose it. And stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to get on the bike and talk to you specifically about long distance riding with this sport shield on my Iron 883 Sportster. So the Delray is the smallest shield in Memphis Shades line. It's really subtle. And that's what I like about it on the Iron 883. It really fits in with the lines of the bike. It measures 15 inches across and 13 inches from the headlight to the top of the shield. So the Delray is made out of Lucite. That's a strong polyplastic. That's a name brand for this particular polyplastic. Some of you may be more familiar with the more common name brand, Plexiglass. Kind of the same material. So another thing about this shield is Memphis Shade's trigger lock mechanism. It allows you to put it on the bike and take it off within seconds. So I'll describe the benefits and why I chose this in a little bit, but sometimes you just wanna be able to ride your bike without the shield on. So being able to take it off quickly is, is really nice. Also, the mounts on the bike are bike specific. So if you want to switch out certain shields or fairings, it makes it very easy to do that. And that's something that I'll probably do sometime soon. That Cafe Racer fairing looks awfully good. So the mounts for the trigger lock mechanism, they're made out of aluminum. So you're put at ease a little bit more riding in the rain, not worrying about these rusting. So why did I choose the Delray? So I did a lot of research and I wanted a windshield specifically for pushing cold air off me. So during the winter of 2017, 2018, I made a commitment to ride through the winter if the roads were feasible for me to do so. Riding in the cold is challenging, but having a windshield that pushes the wind off of your chest and over your head is a really good benefit to have while you're riding in cold weather. It makes those rides just a little bit warmer. The height of the Del Rey is perfect for my height while sitting on the motorcycle. Some riders think that while you have a windshield mounted on your bike, you should be looking through it. That's actually not true. You want the wind to blow off your chest and above your head. So you want that windshield height, the top of the windshield, to meet eye level. That way the wind will blow perfectly off your chest and over your head. The Delray was perfect for me and my height to push that wind off my chest and over my head. Another reason that I chose this, and I hinted at this earlier, is that trigger lock mechanism. It's really fun when it's warm out and the weather's wonderful to be able to ride your motorcycle without the windshield, feeling the wind against you. It makes it more fun and challenging to ride the motorcycle and, and honestly that's why we ride motorcycles because it's a challenging component of our lives. So being able to quickly remove the windshield was important to me. Having that trigger lock mechanism feature as part of the Delray and part of the Memphis Shades line was important to me. It was a big selling point. Not only does having the height of this windshield allow that cold air to be pushed over you. It also allows that strong winds, especially at high speeds, to be pushed over you. So when I was along I-40 or going at higher speeds along some of the other roads along my Route 66 trip, having that wind be pushed off me allowed me to ride longer each day because when you have that wind pushed against you and the longer you ride, the more fatigued you're going to get. Having that wind pushed off you decreases that fatigue amount, allowing you to ride longer and farther. That was a huge benefit for me, especially when I wanted to be in the saddle some very long riding days. One thing to note that the trigger lock mechanism and the shield is sold separately. Installation wasn't difficult, but you do need to play around with it to find that perfect height that you're looking for. So let's get on the bike and let's talk specifically how this Delray Sport Shield work for me while long distance traveling. So it is both cold and windy today, which gives me the opportunity to use this shield and describe it to you in both those adverse conditions. 
Thankfully it's not the trifecta of cold, wind, and rain. But the shield is good in all those environments if you so choose to, to ride in those conditions. And along the Route 66 trip you did see me ride in all those conditions and mountains as well. I got a link to that video in the upper right corner if you want to check that out. So as I mentioned earlier in this video, one of the great benefits of the Delray Sport Shield is its ability to push that cold air off you as you're riding. As many of you know, the faster you go, the greater the wind chill. And when it's really cold out like this right now, it's just shy of 40 degrees, probably 38 or 39 degrees. I'll put up on the screen what the wind chill is now at, at my average speed, probably about 30 miles an hour here in the city. Can't calculate that in my head. But this shield is really good at pushing that cold air off my chest here and then over my head. And because of these windy conditions, I've heard some guys say that they don't want to use a windshield because they feel it acts as a sail in windy conditions and it, it pushes their bike around. Now, with this Delray Sport Shield, maybe it's just the size. I have not experienced that issue at all. Your, uh, your mileage may vary on that. Some with larger windshields may experience that, but I have not at all. And if that's the case, that's one thing that I do enjoy about this. But I can't say for sure because I've not used a larger windshield on this bike. Does this windshield block all the cold? Does this windshield block all the wind coming in? No, it's, it's, it's a smaller shield. It, and I'm riding a sporty. So wind is going to come down below here and still hit parts of my body. My knees, my lower body. You know, if I was riding a touring bike, I wouldn't have that issue because the windshields and the bikes are just designed to block more of the wind. Has it affected my enjoyment of riding or my ability to ride along Route 66 on the interstate and along Route 66? Not at all. In fact, this shield has been beneficial for me riding longer and farther. Now when I first started riding with this shield, I noticed the difference. One way for you to really notice the difference with the shield on and the shield off is to ride with it for a day or two, especially in cold temperatures, and then take it off and then ride with it. And oh my goodness, you will feel the difference. Now when I was in New Mexico, I spent a day without the shield on. And man, it was a lot of fun to ride in those warm conditions and those ideal riding conditions without the shield on. <laughs> that laugh that you just heard, that's a I am alive laugh. Because I'm out here in New Mexico, nearly 2,000 miles away from home, having the time of my life. Just to experience the wind at my face and on my chest, that's, that's part of the enjoyment of motorcycling. But when I needed this shield in the cold and the wind and the rain, it was there for me. You can see how windy it is with these flags here. I don't feel like I'm being blown about. And if I was, I'm able to use my skills as a motorcyclist to counteract that side tangent there. But yeah, the shield was there for me when I needed it most. And the beauty of it is that trigger lock mechanism, you could take it on and off so quickly for when you want to be able to ride in wonderful warm conditions. I just love this turn here next to this pond. I've always loved riding through this section here. Now one thing I haven't talked about at all is buffeting and air getting trapped between you and the shield. Some larger shields, and depending on how your bike is set up, pulls air in and it blows down in between you and the shield, causing this, this movement of air between you and the shield, and it's not a fun experience. This shield is very good at avoiding that, pushing the wind off of you, avoiding being caught between you and the bike and over your head. And maybe that has to do with the fact that this is a sporty and the size of the shield and there's no blockage down here. It allows wind to pass by rather than get it trapped. Regardless of the reason, I really enjoy that 
there's no air trapped here. So what I recommend the Memphis Shades Del Rey Sport Shield for long distance on a sporty, I definitely would because you could see as I'm traveling along Route 66 for 4,500 miles how beneficial it was, how I was able to travel longer during the day because of, of the reduced fatigue, how I was able to travel through really adverse conditions, especially at the tail end of the ride when I was in the mountains and the wind and the rain and the cold. Was it fun riding in those conditions? No, but there's no way I would have been able to do it at all, 100% at all, without the Delray Sport Shield. It just, it gave me an ability to ride that I wouldn't have had without it. And the times that I wanted to ride during that trip without it, I was able to take it off. Now one thing I didn't mention at all is the Lucite here, it's held up. It's definitely held up and that, that's something that's wonderful. One mistake that I made though is using it to block wind so I could light my campfire and so I could light my camp stove. Two big mistakes. I don't know if you could see it while I'm riding here, but down here, I'll show a close up so you can see it a little bit better. Lucite and plexiglass are not heat resistant. Now, I mean, it can withstand like the 80, 85 degrees or, but it can't withstand heat from fire. And what I did is cause some cracking in it. And that is not the fault of Memphis Shades. It's, it's my own fault for causing that. And I might buy another shield because of it. I know there's ways to repair that or to stop that from cracking more. But at a very inexpensive cost, 75 bucks for just the shield itself, that's a, that's a small price to pay to, to have one where I won't make the same mistake of using it as a, as a way to light my fire and blocking the wind. So if you're interested in buying the Delray Sport Shield, or any product or gear that you see me use, I have a link down below to my Amazon Influencer page. Go ahead and check that out. It does help out the channel a lot if you do use that. And if you have any questions at all about the Delray Sport Shield or anything else that I use, go ahead and leave a comment down below or hit me up on Instagram or email me at joe at greategermoto.com. I'd love to help out. And if you choose to use anything that I use, I always like to know the things that I use, the gear that I use, how it works out for other people. So, go ahead and like this video if you like it, if you found it helpful. Click the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Join the community that's growing here. And as always, ride safe out there. Keep your wheels rolling in the right direction. 